So this is really cool. We're in the Microsoft model shop. This is where Microsoft's actual products are designed and built. Uh, we're talking to Carson Agard. You're a model maker here. Yes, correct. And you guys basically build this stuff from scratch yep. with your bare hands. Sometimes. Sometimes with 3D printers. Absolutely, and yep. you go from just prototype to prototype to prototype into an yes. actual product. So, so this so, is where the actual printing yeah, takes place. So we basically try to build prototypes in real time. When they want it, five o'clock they dump their files. We get it running. Eight in the morning they come in. It's ready to go. We just got this a couple of weeks ago. This is the one that prints multi materials. There's four uh, print heads, and each print head will can be dedicated to two different materials, and they will mix kind of like color. You know, yeah. you have RGB, and you'll mix different colors. What is the material that you put in here? What does it look like? It's a it's a UV cured epoxy, so it's actually a liquid. This is a 3D printed wrench that you printed in one piece. Yeah, so that shows the ability to be able to print multiple parts together as an assembly. Right, uh, that, that's incredible. This chain was also the done? The chain also. Uh, as a single? It's, it's able to support, basically suspend parts in space. Uh, the support material traps it and holds it. When you remove the support material, they're free floating. So This was, this was printed uh, not in one piece, right? Not in one piece. Uh, we had some, some issues with a mouse in production, and we built a four-up size one so they can actually see the physical movement of the mouse. Oh, device. like a click so this wheel. This is a very early concept. This so is like, a, like this? Yeah, so a detented wheel. So wow, that's incredible. grow it big so they can play with it, see all the little details. And you were saying, so you, this takes, you said this, this wrench took about 35 minutes to Probably print. Probably about 35 minutes. You could do an entire mouse in how long does it take to do a mouse? Uh, about three hours. Three hours. Yeah. And then you're, you're starting to be able to use different materials. Yeah. There's a, a soft rubber compound with a hard, harder plastic-like compound. Uh, the mix between the two will give you different durometers. You can then two-shot the uh, wow. the parts. So this is kind of hard. You've got hard plastic yeah. so here, and then you've got soft rubber like buttons. We're representing the, the side grips of a mouse. So you actually have a couple of uh, mouse prototypes here. We should look at them. Yeah, so once they create all of the the bosses and features inside, they're able to, to load components and do their testing. And, and how long will something like this hold up? I mean, if you if you put together, you've got obviously the space for the electronics and these mice. Correct. You could go and use this as your Absolutely. main device. Uh, these, these don't have a whole lot of thermal integrity. If you were to warm this up and bend it, it would stay there. There's no memory down. to yeah. it. So over time, the thing would tend to kind of sag, yeah. you know, like glass. It's like a, a human, faster. basically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we also do test, test fixtures. So if the mouse has to go through a life cycle, uh, rather than spend thousands of dollars creating a fixture that holds the mouse and, 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 then, and then like a robotic finger or whatever will do life testing on the buttons, we'll create the fixture in 3D. Do you have a robotic finger here though? I'm interested to know if that I exists. Did this morning, actually. <laughs> Have you, you um, cleared the robotic finger the, out of the lab? You're we did me. build actually a hand. Really? Uh, does and, it look, um, and it just does this? It's all it's it's a, a fully. Um, <sighs> what is this uh, clear Windows phone? This was device? an example of when we first released Windows Phone. They didn't want to show the phone, they just wanted to show the cool menu interface. This is incredible. Um, this, now, this makes me want a, a clear phone. Yeah. Is, are you guys working on anything like that? You, you probably took away all your clear phone prototypes. All the clear phones are, are yeah. hidden. They're actually great. invisible. Yeah, so, I don't know why invisible. I'm touching it like it's going to do something. See, it works. Why isn't this working? All right, thank you so much. This is yeah. really very cool. Yeah. Thanks for taking no us problem. around. Absolutely. Appreciate it.